Hello everyone. So I thought that I will go through that uh, sensitivity analysis uh, a bit more uh, one more time. Uh, I got a lot of new content so I thought it is fair for me to just record this quick video um, to just go through it again. Now remember the students who come to the lecture they will when they go through this video it will sort of reinforce they will understand it better but students who didn't come for the lecture I'm not sure if this will make much sense okay uh, coming to lecture coming to the class is the most important part of this course okay so let's get started so you got your sensitivity analysis right now what do we do in sensitivity analysis so let me just bring up all right here we go so we got this function here so just a basic maximization function here so you have your profit function here and you got your constraint here now remember profit function means $50 profit on x1 right if you sell one x1 you make 50 profit on that and if you sell one x2 you'll make profit on that is 120 so if you had two you put two in there you get the total profit it's all total profit okay we're thinking about the total profit it's not one product profit at the time then we have the constraint here so remember this constraint is the hours of electricians time available so this is all to do with electrician right one constraint that means for X1 to be produced you require two hours of electrician time and for X2 to produce you require four hours of electrician time right so this is the use of resource of those two products that we're trying to produce and we're saying that if we plug in the value of x1 x2 that been found it should be less than or equal to 80 similarly you have audio technician time the same constraint applies to that and here it means that it has you know it, it can't be negative basically the product you're trying to determine now when we do the sensitivity analysis what we're trying to do we break this into two parts now first part is this here this is we call a profit function now remember anything with have numbers and x or a b c we call it a function right linear function basically so this is our profit function and this is our technology function now if you have come through to the lecture you know why it's called a technological function and so three parts first your profit function your technology now this is a constraint that's also a part we're going to break down in our sensitivity analysis so this is the third part we look at one at a time now this thing here right this is a profit so this is a profit we said by let's say in the beginning of the month right beginning of the month you want to know what is the maximum quantity what is the optimal quantity of x1 and x2 then you produce so I prop maximize my profit given in this constraint so in the beginning of the month the sales department come in hey say okay our um, uh, x1's profit is 50 and 120 for x2 and then five days later come in, oh sorry we got it wrong it's uh, 55 and let's say 130 here or go another way around it's 30 and 110 and then the question is we already have worked out the optimal quantity based on this 50 and 120 and we have programmed our machine to produce that much amount of optimal quantity every day let's say now the question is if you come up the profit change profit is increased or decreased now is that quantity we worked out using this 50 and 120 is that still the optimal quantity or do we actually need to do something on that do we need to change it now running a whole linear programming is a whole different story we don't want to do that but we want to make sure that the optimal quantity of x1 and x2 that we have decided is still okay if the profit increases now how do we work that out now for that what we need to do is that we just need to look at the sensitivity analysis okay so let's have a look at one of the sensitivity analysis here so keep going keep going keep going here right have a look here now so remember our optimal quantity right we have our optimal quantity is that we don't produce any zero any of x1 we only produce x2 and that's where the profit is maximized and this is objective coefficient right remember the objective coefficient is from that function like 50 profit on x1 and 120 profit on x2 now this is a very not quite typical because we're only producing x2 you don't need to produce x1 if you just produce x2 you maximize the profit it usually you know it doesn't happen it's very atypical okay now what will how do we actually work out whether change the profit the sales department has told us is actually okay right we eat optimal quantity still to produce only x2 of 20 quantity now here is where the trick comes in right well 50 is a profit now allowable increase is 10 so that means 50 plus 10 is 60 as long as the profit 
on the first unit is still between 50 and 60 including so 50 51 52 53 54 55 all the way up to 60 optimal is still to just produce 20 right you understand so that means our previous calculation that we done using this 50 profit on x 120 on x2 still stands right now you don't have to worry about the allowable decrease is a huge number so such whenever you see this huge number it just mean one and you have 30 zeros to it okay so we don't worry about that we only look at the number that makes sensible numbers like 10 and 20 now what is this 20 20 means our object our co our profit on x2 which is 120 it can decrease after 120 uh, sorry up to 20 that means it can go up to 100 up to 100 and optimal quantity will still be 20 of x2 any lesser than that right if it goes to 99 98 then we need to redo the your linear programming again this will not be optimal quantity do you understand that's all we actually mean by our first part of sensitivity as that means profit function we change that okay brilliant let's have a look at the go back to our okay now the next part is right we have this part of the constraint this equation right hand side of the equation so you got 2x1 plus 4x2 3x1 plus 1x2 now these are the constraint for two different inputs we got uh, hours electricians time available and audio technical time available. important it's just hour okay okay right so what is the next step just how the profit change here right we change the input usage so let's say instead of using uh, two hours of electrician time to produce uh, x1 right it takes two hours of electrician time to produce one unit of x1 let's see if we change that will still be optimum or not that's important you still come uh, you know still sort of thinking about the optimal level okay so have a look here so for that we just need to look into this now this is our optimal right so remember 20 was the optimal so this is optimum point and this is our original constraint now see this constraint was 3 from 3 the it now next month it's only going to take 2 units of electrician time to produce now see your your feasible area changes your line changes a little bit right and but the optimal you work out the optimal you solve it you still actually get this A as an optimal level that you still produce your X2 of just 20 of those okay now so but now if you change this 4 to 5 it increased that it uses more of uh, uh, the um, auto technician time now remember this is to do with your electrician time this is auto technician time you change the line and optimal is no longer now here or 20 20 can't be 20 because the line does 20 20 it's actually g so what we're trying to say here is that from the second point of your sensitivity analysis is that we don't know right sometimes when you change the technological coefficient it might actually change the optimal or it might not so it really depends right um uh with this 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 sort of uh idea what we're thinking about here is that you just need to compare against the optimal okay okay so hopefully that makes sense so just going back to this one here right so we looked into this for sensitivity analysis that is also uh, compared to the optimum with optimum change now. this also we'll look into that and that also we'll see if the old optimum is still the optimum so these two analysis we do that is the profit function and the left side of the uh, constraint all to do with whether the original optimum that we had is still stands or not is it still correct or not if these changes okay now this is slightly different so this is the constraint so they say now okay maximum we have is only 80 hours you can't go any more than that or 80 hours of electrician time and 60 hours of audio technicians time that's all we can have right now somebody comes up and says oh no we got 100 now and we got 80 the question here is should we employ more of those or not okay if so if we do plan to employ how much more profit will increase by okay that's a big question so let's have a look here go back to our sensitivity analysis report right so our constraint is 80 and 60 so have a look this is the final value this is what the optimum is the optimum optimum is all on one column right this is the 
optimal value that we should only produce 20 of x2 nothing of x1 to maximize the profit and once again this is optimal uh, when you produce is optimal this is the this is what the inputs being used so 80 hours of electrician hours and auto tech hours of only 20 now look there is a slack here right the constraint we have 80 available uh, we used 80 so there's no slack here but next one see there was 60 available we only used 20 so we are not using 40 the slack is 40 right now the question here is the idea is if we have more of it available should we actually increase them now there with this idea of shadow price comes in so your final value was 80 that's what used up all of it but then let's say one more hour of labor in the electricity available so if you employ that one more hour of electrician what's going to happen to your profit your profit that's a big question here because you only want to employ if something happens to your profit if it increases right shadow price says 30 that means if you employ that extra electrician that is increased from 80 to 81 that one hour of extra will increase your profit by 30 dollars that's what it means if you employ two hours it will be 30 plus 30 60 so if your total profit will let's say was thousand okay so at optimum write this down at optimum you are producing let's say 20 of x2 right and you plug in the value of that your profit is thousand let's say thousand write it down thousand is your profit and you're using all of this 80 the shadow price means if more electricians become available you use right 81 hours extra one hour will increase your profit by 30 so your total profit will be thousand and thirty dollars or AED makes sense if you use 82 hours extra two that were available to so use them now doesn't mean you use them this is sensitivity analysis report remember sensitivity analysis is not what you're doing it gives you a scenario if extra two becomes available it will be 60 extra three becomes available it will be 90 so 90 will be total addition if you have 83 hours of total electrician time extra three will increase your profit by uh, 90 dollars or 90 80 does that make sense now here look at this this will only happen if there's no slack because there is no slack means that you're using up all of those electricians hours yeah that means that they are very very useful and they're good for the profit now here we are only using 20 right they're still 40 so that's not that productive so only technicians in some ways are not product they don't add much value to a profit so that's where the shadow price is zero here okay does that make sense don't need to worry about that here right what this 40 is all I want you to think about is shadow price how to interpret that what the interpretation is okay does that make sense all right so good luck hopefully this is clear